Do you guys remember when we took Joel in for an MRI and they thought that they gave us that one word, <laughs> we can't remember what it's called, where they thought maybe the um, tendons were separating and muscle was separating from something. Chest bone and that. Yeah. Um, he's experiencing that again tonight and as we've looked online, the symptoms are super similar to gallstones, like the two different things are super similar to each other and Joel is thinking that maybe it's his gallstones. After watching Joel roll around on the ground for hours, like literally in so much pain, I was like, all right, we're going in. We've got to go in. So here we are at the ER. Wole guacamole. All right, here's what happened. <laughs> She's making small talk, asking what we do for a living, and we started laughing. And oh, because Joel said something about like gauges, and Joel like answered the question for her. And she's like, "Oh, what do you do for a living?" And so we started laughing because it had nothing to do with what we were talking about. And then we both were like, "We do YouTube for a living." And she goes, "Oh, does that pay the bills?" And then we laughed even more, and we were like, "Well, we've been doing it full time for like, you know, four, five years." And and she started like asking like questions about it, missed Joel's vein, I have and oh, wouldn't I know it, I've punctured him several times actually in my phlebotomy days. Did you poke me? Yes times? I did. I know the first time. I'm gonna go get those charts and show you my mm. initials on that chart. Remember that one time you gave me an IV at our house? I did! One time I stole plasma. No, I did <laughs> not steal plasma. No. I did not steal plasma. <laughs> I had some extra saline and gave Joel an IV at home and it helped and it was amazing. Oh, yeah. It was when he had the flu, it was just hydration. Felt like a million bucks. <laughs> So, yeah, I could get your veins with my eyes closed. You okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she almost was getting so sweaty. I was like, okay, wow. Mm -hmm. She was like, they're beautiful veins. <laughs> she was a sweetheart. She was. Thank you for doing what you do. Mm-hmm. She's doing a good job. Going about the symptoms, it seems more like gallstones. So we were kind of looking into it a little bit, and I pushed on my, I mean, I was, as I was rolling around on the floor in pain, when I pushed on the upper right areas kind of harder just to see if that, what it was doing when it released, I thought I was gonna die. It just took me completely out. Do you think that you will be able to see if he has gallstones just by doing this? No, this, this will tell. Is it possible to dislodge one on your own? If it's a certain small size, then it can move from your gallbladder through a duct, but those are pretty small when they do that. Even the small ones hurt like the mother, right? <laughs> oh crap, it hurts so bad. <laughs> um, a lot of people live with it, I don't even know they have gallstones. That's what I was reading. Yeah. A lot of people just don't even know. And yeah. some were like, oh, it lasts 15 minutes, maybe a couple hours. The doctor just came in and said that there's no gallstones. They can, none that they could see, which doesn't mean there aren't there, but none that were big enough where they were like, yep, they're visible. So there still could be some, we just don't, nothing on this. And they, they call that thing? yeah, and they said your blood work is perfect, like 100% perfect. So then what? He's gonna order you. He's gonna order a test. It's the way they test your gallbladder. To see like how the bile goes in and out of it. So he wants Jill to get that test done. Mm -hmm. But we can go home now and mm -hmm. I feel a lot better, which is weird because it did subside, but last time it did not subside at all. But when he was pushing around that ultrasound, it was pretty painful right up in here again. So I don't know. And so what did he say it was? He's like, it could just be. I can't remember the word he said, but. It... Gastritis. Yeah, I think so. But what that means is like you're either underproducing or overproducing 
acid acid in your stomach but it's like it can disrupt in many different ways so i don't know i feel a little bit at a loss <laughs> Like, I don't feel like I got any, we got any answers. Like yeah, that. And, and that was like our worry. We didn't want, so last time it went for several days. And if it is gallstones, it's like, ah, uh, you don't well, want that to erupt. Erupts, yeah. You don't want to like go have sepsis in your body. I would rather be safe than sorry. And I'm glad that we came in. I'm, I'm happy to know that you don't have gallstones because mm -hmm. at least we can kind of rule that out. It's tough because not getting any news is, it's like, oh, that's at least makes you feel comfortable. But at the same time, you're like, well, I don't have any more answers than I did when I came in here. Is it going to just flare up again tomorrow? Whatever the devil that was. I know. Well, that's what I asked him. I was like, so he has another episode. I'm like, what should we do? He's like, you can feel free to come in. I'm like, you mean for pretty soon a thousand dollars? That's great. No, this will be like 1800 minimum. Yeah. Like, that's what they always are. But you guys should have seen him. Like I didn't have the camera out at this point because I was worrying and just trying to like feel things out with Joel but he was literally rolling around on the ground it was hurting so much he was just like up and down and like walk like it was he was just like frantic kind of I think I would have rather somebody just broken my arm or broken my <laughs> because because I'll say this like if I've, I've had injuries before and it's like okay if you just lay it here and don't move it'll feel a little bit better, right? You can handle this level of pain. But this was something that just, it attacks you and there's nothing you can do. And breathing hurts, exhaling hurts, holding your breath hurts. And it's just the weirdest sensation I've ever felt in my life, ever. I am that. so tired. Can you give Joel anything to like, help him sleep through the night? Like something to like help him sleep? The doctor's all melatonin, I was like, Never mind. <laughs> no, <a> tonin, please. <laughs> what? Oh, no, give me Ambien. <laughs> I don't think we'll have trouble sleeping. Okay, so not gastritis, but GERD, which is gastro um, gastroesophageal reflux disease. But that's not what he's diagnosing you with right now. That's what he's giving you these for, and if it helps, then that's what it is. Oh, got and that's it. That's why he's going to have me follow up with Dr. Anderson because he'll be the one to make that diagnosis. Got it. With the other test that he's going to do. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes a second and I have to record it so that I don't have to relay that because I won't be able to. That's all right. <laughs> I'm still so impressed that, like, you guys make money doing YouTube because I don't want to do that. Really? What yeah. would you want to do? Well, my husband loves cooking and he loves reptiles. So he really wants to show his reptiles. Okay. We have three tegus. I don't know if you guys know what those are. Tegus so, are massive reptiles. Like, like they're the dogs and cats of the reptile world. They just walk around the house. Really? That's insane. You can put the leashes on them. And, <laughs> and does, really? And does he cook a lot? Them. Yeah, he loves cooking. Yep. I really love cooking channels. Yeah, he watches a bunch of them. He's Sam like, the cooking guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he was fine when the doctor was here and now it's like coming on again. But I can feel like gas coming through my body too. Really? Oh. Bonnie, I don't know if it's the moonlight or that hair on the back of your neck. You you look like Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's pain more painful. Girder. <laughs> I'm an idiot.